Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today, this is gonna be a long overdue review of the Tozo NC2 True Wireless Earbuds with hybrid active noise cancellation. They both have three mics on each earbud, so six all together. So you got a feedback mic, a feed forward mic, and there's a call mic that's not gonna show up on the camera. It's right in between the charging pin connectors. Now these are a stem style earbud, reminiscent of the AirPods Pro. And they also have inner detection for auto pause and auto play. Now with the ANC, it advertises reducing about 35 decimals of noise and they're pretty good. Also have transparency mode to let in your surroundings. Bluetooth 5.2 about 35 feet, and they will auto connect to the last device they were paired to. Now let's talk about the battery life. Now you'll get six hours on a single charge with ANC on and eight hours on a single charge with ANC off. So if you don't use ANC, that's a total of 32 hours of play time. And with ANC on, that's a total of 24 hours. And I'd have to admit, the battery life is really good. Now, IP rating is IPX6. The reason it took me so long to review these is because I ran these under some water, running water, and the left earbud shorted out on me. I dried them off, and every time I was trying to listen to music, the left earbud would be like, boop, 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 because the volume was going down. So these are not waterproof, they're water resistant. Don't go swimming in these, you've been warned. Now the dimensions on these are four by 65 by four by 61 by 1.54 inches. So that's length times width times height. And also I was testing these out and I noticed something. Now on the back, there is a button. I thought this was a reset button, but actually no, this is what the button does. You press it and there you go. It shows you how much battery is on the case. I've had these since March and I just found these out tonight. I promise you, I'm not that dumb. Now, another cool feature these buds have, just like the NC7s NC is, they can charge wirelessly. Now, Charging them wirelessly, it'll take about two hours. Now you can also charge these using USB type C. And if the buds are completely depleted of battery life, that'll take about 90 minutes. And about 10 minutes will get you an hour or two hours of playtime. Now, as far as the touch controls go, on the left earbud, one tap, you switch between transparency mode and ANC. Two taps on the left earbud, you skip back to the previous track. Three taps, activates the voice assistant, and a long press makes the volume go down. Now on the right earbud, one tap is pause and play. Two taps, you skip to the next song. And three taps, activate voice assistant, long press is volume up now somebody left an interesting comment on my last review for the j buds air anc they asked whether or not you can use anc with one earbud because these do support stereo mono mode and the answer is no i looked through the user manual and it can it clearly states you cannot use anc with this one earbud anc is only for stereo mode so there you have it now all of those specs are out the way. Let's talk about the price. On Amazon, you can get these for $49.99 and you can save an extra 20% with the coupon at checkout. Now, to talk about the sound. They are amazing. There's two gripes about these earbuds and I'll get to that after I talk about the sound. Now, I've been listening to a lot of Marvin Gaye the past week. And if you mess up Marvin Gaye, 
I'm gonna throw these buds out the window and I'm gonna have to say they sound good. You know, I want you deluxe edition album, the Trouble Man soundtrack, listen to some uh Usher 8701. Mm, that's a good album. And I listened to a lot of other like alternative RB that I found on Spotify. And I'd have to say that the bass on the low end is good. The bass, sub bass, good. Every song that I've tried to listen to as far as R&B and rap was amazing. Even at like half volume, which is like, I'm gonna say 50, 60%, these still sound good. Now the sweet spot for me as far as volume is like 80 to 85. And that's where I wanna keep it because I'm, I'm pushing 40, so I ain't trying to, you know, go deaf. Now, as far as the mids, listen to a lot of vocal song, uh, Gravity by Sarah Borales, such a great song. The vocals came in crisp and clear. These Tozo, as far as the sound uh, quality goes, they're comparable to the sound beats. You get good bass, great sub bass, and you get great clear mids. Nice sound stage, the treble, while it's not like I am quality, it does sound good. I was listening to Flamingo Sketches from Miles Davis' Kind of Blue album, and there's this, this weird like hiss vinyl record sound that's playing throughout the whole track. I can hear that perfectly, even at like mid volume. So the only thing left to say is, since I reviewed the Tozo M7s, how do they compare? Well, you can't really compare these two. It's like comparing apples to apples. I mean, as far as sound quality goes, they're both the same. They both have the same rich bass, deep sub bass, clear mids, adequate treble. There's some detail and as far as battery life, that's the same. They both have wireless charging. It's kind of hard to do it. Oh, I gotta stand it up. There you go. There we go. I have to stand it up on the Tozo NC7. So they both got wireless charging. And they both got the same sound, same battery life. Both have the same ANC. I think they even have the same IP rating. The only difference is the dimensions in the charging case and the difference in the buds. All NC7 are more dot style, it fits more flush in your ears. The NC2s are more AirPods Pro design with the stem. Now, remember, if you're using the NC2s, the touch is right here. It's not here. This ain't got no press of sensor. This is a touch. This is touch. That's not a button. So it, it just really depends on what you like in an earbud. Do you like a more dot just Dot style, I like the NC7s more because they just have a great dot design. They have a better seal in my medium sized ear holes. The passive noise isolation is the same. Notice that I'm not using spin fits because I took them off because check this out. Tozo provides at least, I counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six sets of silicone tips. And these are more softer. The spin fits are slightly more like thicker because they're made out of medical grade silicone. So yeah, I don't really need spin fits for these. These fit perfectly. And yeah, you have multiple sizes all the way from extra small all the way up to extra large. And I think the medium mediums are on both earbuds. So there's that. It just matters on, like as far as, okay, you got NC7 right here, NC2 right here. You look, I got them in my hand, they're both lightweight. The NC7 case is smaller. Of course, the NC7, NC2 case is gonna be bigger because these are uh, stem style, semi in-ear earbud. So you can't go wrong with either or. I do like these better. I can't really explain why. I mean, they both have the same sound quality. They both have pretty much all the same features and they're both the same price. 
So this has been the review of the Tozo NC2 True Wireless Earbuds. Oh, I almost forgot the two gripes I have. When it comes to the ANC, you only get, get this, get this firefly up out of here. You, man, ain't trying to make no guest appearance in my video, man. Okay, as far as the ANC goes, you only get two options. You get ambient mode on and ANC on. And you cycle between the two. There's no ANC off. I would really like if the next earbud that they come out with with hyperactive noise cancellation, they would give you an option to turn that off. That way I could increase the battery life it's, I mean, the volume on these, they get really loud. So you don't really need ANC. I've noticed that when reviewing a bunch of earbuds, ANC is just basically an added bonus. It's like sprinkles or a cherry on top of your Sunday. Yeah, it's cool to have, but you don't really need it. I mean, I've used some Sound Peach earbuds that are comparable to these. They just don't have ANC or ambient mode. They still sound the same, they still fit good, and they have full touch controls. So just give us an option to turn that A and C off. And another gripe that I have is, well, I think that's it. Maybe increase the waterproof rating. I mean, I know I got some bolts in here, but they're rated at like IPX8, which is the highest IP rating you can have on some true wireless earbuds. Maybe it's that. So that's pretty much it. I don't really have any complaints other than, you know, giving us another option for, you know, turning the ANC off and, oh, have like voice prompts. Because when you cycle between ANC and ambient mode, it's like a bloop, bloop. That's it. There's no like, you know, ANC on hear through it's none of that like and you really don't you can't tell unless you like you got to turn the music off and you got to activate it and another thing about the ANC is that the EQ shifts when you switch between ambient and ANC I noticed with ANC on and I got volume at about 80 85 percent it sounds a lot warmer and when you turn transparency mode on it sounds more brighter and I just want that warm I, I'm, I'm more have a preference towards a warm pleasant sound in my uh, in my earbuds so I wish that when I got ambient mode on that's like it still sounds the same and as far as transparency mode the last thing that I'll say is I was on my lunch break and I was listening to some music and I turned ambient mode on and I noticed that there's this weird, like, AM radio static. Like, it's like, and I was like, what is that? And then I turned it off because it was like giving me a headache. And it only does that when I'm in a quiet environment. I think what's happening is the microphone that's on facing the outside, that's picking up the noise from your environment it's waiting to counteract noise around you. Cause I noticed when I went on my lunch break, when there was people talking, as soon as I turned it on, that noise was like, it just went away. So that didn't happen on the NC7s. Cause I just tested them before shooting this video and I turned on a fan and I turned it off and I didn't hear that with the NC7s, only with the NC2s. So I guess that's, a, I don't know, I, not really a bad thing. I mean, if the mics are listening for your surrounding noise in your environment to like let it in or whatnot, because when it's quiet, it's just like that static. And when there's noise, you can just hear everything. It's like your hearing like improves like 100%. So, you know, that's just my two cents on that. It's just... I don't know, it just sounds weird. Like I wouldn't use transparency mode unless you're like in a noisy environment and you need to listen to what's going on around you. So that's pretty much all I got to say. This has been the review of the Tozo NC2 True Wireless Earbuds. Don't forget to like, comment and share. And thank you for watching. This is a call quality test.
Anatozo NC2 true wireless earbuds in a quiet environment.